Cities in Ukraine are working to repair the damage from the latest Russian bombardment. That is the sound of Kiev's anti-missile defenses firing this morning. Ukrainian officials say Russian forces took aim at Ukraine's energy infrastructure again with a wave of missiles. Abby Kugathasin is tracking the developments from Ukraine this morning. What is the latest information on those attacks, Abby, and the aftermath? Heather, Russian forces firing dozens of missiles from bombers and warships into Ukraine this morning. Ukraine says it shot down 60 of 76 missiles, but at least two people have died in the Dnipro region after a rocket hit a residential building. It does appear that the main target this morning, critical infrastructure, part of Kyiv, the capital, without power, as the mayor, Vitaly Klitschko, says the water supply will be disrupted in every district of the capital. People rushed to shelter in metro stations as air raid sirens blared early this morning. Now to the east in Kharkiv, a city of one million people completely without electricity. The governor confirming that energy infrastructure has been hit. In the region of Kirovorad, another one million residents left in the dark without heat. Power outages too in the south in Odessa and in the north in Sumy. Ukraine's energy minister, Herman Halushenko, says nine facilities have been damaged today and the national energy operator declaring an emergency as it sees a 50 percent drop in usage. Ukraine will also introduce now nationwide power shutdowns to ration what energy they do have. We've heard this before. Ukrainians, they've been de dealing with blackouts for weeks as Russia continues to target the energy grid. Kyiv has accused Moscow of weaponizing winter to break the will of its people. But again, Ukrainians vowing to remain resilient, but grave concern as millions face outages amid sub-zero temperatures. Heather. Thank you, Abby. Abby Kugathasin in London.